What up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor. What up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel dedicated to Sailor Moon merchandise news and reviews. As you can see, I have something brand new in my hand right here, but I also have a slew of boxes. So I'm going to be breaking into these today. All of these boxes that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing for you today are from Hong Kong collaborations. Now, usually if you purchase something from China or Hong Kong that has to do with Sailor Moon, you have to be a little bit careful about the items being bootlegs. However, these specific ones I proxied from a proxy shipper and purchaser over in Hong Kong who went to the stores physically and purchased them for me and then shipped them over to the US. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. These are all officially licensed uh, Sailor Moon crystal items that are from collaborations. So one of the collaborations is a store called The One, which was located in a mall or something like that. And the other one is a collaboration with a company called Chocolat. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox everything and then I will show you what I got. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to these videos if you're enjoying them. Okay, so the first items that I will show you are from the collaboration with Chocolat or Cho... Cho Chocolat. <laughs> they have three O's instead of two O's, so it confuses me a little bit. But this first t-shirt, I got this in two different colors. I got size small and hopefully it will fit because the sizings were a little weird, uh, but small seems to be like a US large. So hopefully this will be plenty of size for me. But this is a really pretty kind of prismy holographic uh, picture silhouette of Sailor Moon. And it says Bishou Josenshi Sailor Moon in Japanese. So I really liked it. I also got the same one in white as well. And it also features that holographic print so two colors yay the next one that i got i can't translate what it says at the top but it doesn't look like it says bishoujo senshi said a moon oshiyokiya oh i think it says oshiyokyo so maybe it says her attack thing and then it also says henshin bishoujo senshi and it has cute little uh crescent moons and it has all the inner scouts on it at the bottom it also has a little print of chibi moon and sailor moon and nehelenia as well one of the enemies so that's kind of cool little feature on this shirt the fourth and last shirt is probably my favorite and this feature is what looks like a comic book print up at the top it says sailor moon and it has sailor moon as well as chibi moon on it chibi moon's hair is awful dark in this shirt but it's still really pretty so i really like like the comic book-esque type of art on it. I also got two different accessories from the Chocolat collaboration. The first one is this really interesting ball purse. Uh, this is how big it is compared to my head which I hope that my head is not that big. So it has this really pretty velvet blue all the way around it. It also features uh, embroidered compacts on it as well as embroidered crescent moons and embroidered stars. There's a few different stars on here as well that are made out of metal. And if I open it, it is kind of hard to open. It comes with a handle, but it also comes with a shoulder strap too. And this strap is made fully out of chain. So it looks like it would be probably kind of uncomfortable. However, this is a gorgeous display piece which I really like and when you open it it's black on the inside there is no inner lining there's no art on the inside but I really liked how unique it is I've never seen anything like this from Sailor Moon and I wanted it to be a part of my collection I also really like the back how it has this nice big crescent moon and it also says Sailor Moon on there as well now lastly from Chocolat we got the really big item now I have still not gotten my hands on a Kaleida Moon scope proplica and it's so upsetting because they're like $400 now, which is ridiculous. But I am going to a convention this weekend at time of recording, so hopefully I can find one there for a better price because I'm all about bargaining. But this is pretty much the closest I have gotten, and this thing is awesome. So this is a really pretty nice big umbrella, and as you can see, it features really pretty chrome, uh, pink, and gold print at the bottom that's supposed to be the Kaleida Moon Scope, of course. Now, the interesting thing about this is you don't even have to open it for this to happen but it has batteries on the inside because the main rod of this umbrella lights up now unfortunately like it's doing right now I noticed that the light up part is kind of janky and it doesn't work all the time uh, which is really upsetting I don't know if it got damaged when it was shipped over to me or it just needs me to open it up and so 
solder it, but I do have batteries in there and it worked when I got it out of the box. However, over time, it's just kind of died. So I don't know if anybody else has gotten this umbrella and has noticed the same thing. Yeah, I know people say don't open umbrellas on the inside, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, if you wanna see the print of the umbrella, it's very pretty and it has Luna silhouettes all around. It has the Kaleida Moon scope and it also has Sailor Moon's compact on it too. It does have the stallion reeve on there too and a crescent moon and the print is all in pink and blue to kind of match with the theme for this year's chocolate collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that nice and carefully. I do want to fix it so I'll probably open that up and re-solder the connection points and hopefully that'll fix the lights because it does light up a few different colors. It lights up I think it's green blue and orange or kind of a like pinkish reddish color so it's very very pretty but unfortunately this one is not working for me uh, I know this was a free item if you ended up purchasing like four different t-shirts but I ended up spending I think $60 on it while on eBay it's about 200 okay so the next items are going to be from the one store the pop-up shop that happened in Hong Kong so first off I'm going to start off with this uh, this was actually I think a mail order but this is a tote bag it's a very simple tote bag that has Luna on it as well as the little Fuku bow on it and this is perfect for like going to the beach since it has this nice plastic transparency so sand won't get in side of it. I love these kind of bags. I think they're perfect for that kind of stuff. And I also like this really cute big crescent moon that's on the front of it too. So cute bag. Then I got a hat. It is a bunny hat. So it's just like the Usagi bunny hat. It's so cute. I do need to tighten it on the back so that it fits me properly, but I think it's really adorable. It's just a simple baseball hat. And we also have a couple of microfiber towels. I use these all the time since I wear glasses and I do a lot of stuff with electronics for my day job. One says in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. And it has really pretty stained glass windows art. And the other one is that very infamous art that we have of Usagi. Usagi as Sailor Moon. Oh, this is cute. This was a little bonus thing from Chocolat that I received apparently as a little freebie. So that's nice. Yay. Ooh, that smells. Dang, that smells. I need to air this out. Okay, so here we have a silhouette of Princess Serenity and it's a very pretty little simple bag or a pouch. Next up, I received this gorgeous black mug as well. And this one does have a Sailor Moon silhouette on it with a crescent moon. It says, in the name of the moon, I will punish you. And on the other side, it says Sailor Moon. Now, I don't think this print is going to come off, so I'm pretty sure I can put this in the dishwasher. It looks like I can. It's great too. I like the size of this mug because this is like a normal American size for a mug, so it's gonna be perfect for whenever I wanna actually drink some hot tea. Okay, so this next item was really popular for a lot of people, and this is a Swarovski Crystal Sailor Moon mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you. Okay, so the Swarovski crystals are on the front. There's six of them and that's it. It also has that same stained glass window that you saw on the microfiber towel. On the back of it, it says Sailor Moon crystal. And when I open it, you can see yourself. Say hello. Hello, internets. Ooh. So we have a super close up one and then a normal length mirror as well. So that's cute. I'm gonna put this in my purse and use it like all the time. Also, since I travel a lot, I decided to get this. It's a luggage uh, strap. So what you do with this is you stick it around your suitcase and it's supposed to tighten it up and keep everything within just in case like your zipper breaks. You don't want all your stuff ending up like out in the middle of the airport for everyone to see. So this helps keep everything nice and tidy. It also has a TSA lock on the front of it, which we all know is insecure, but at least it's there. So they won't break this if they need to get into it. And I can set my own pin code on the front of it too. I like the art on this. I like that it has a little Luna on the front. It's very cute and it's made out of uh, fake leather, so that's cool. It also has Sailor Moon Crystal on the strap and it has a little Luna in Artemis. Oh, it's adorable and very useful. I like useful items because I'll actually use this and it will totally match my luggage, which it just so happens to be purple. Purple is my favorite color in case you didn't know. This one I'm gonna be extremely careful with because it's so pretty and I don't wanna break it. Uh, this is a teapot set. So first up you have the lid, of course, and then you have the teapot. But look at that, you also get a cup and saucer and the cup is rather large. I love that about this. And the teacup just sets right inside of it whenever you're not using it, which is awesome for space. So it saves a ton of space. And the plate on this is very pretty. It features the inner senshi symbol. Uh, 
Uh, it also says in the name of the moon, I'll punish you, which seems to be a going trend here with all of these. And then we have some really pretty art along the edges. This one unfortunately got a little damaged uh, before it was picked up. So the, the person that picked this up for me noticed it after she had picked it up. So it's a little unfortunate, but it should be something that I can fix. So this is a really cute little accessory or jewelry box. And I figured it would look really cute back here and I could display some of my items inside of it. So I definitely wanted to pick it up. On the front we have Luna and Artemis and on the top there's also Sailor Moon, a little silhouette. And this is what I was mentioning when I said it got damaged. Apparently this piece is supposed to slide up and down like that, but the two spokes on the sides of the lid ended up breaking off. So I'm hoping that I can just glue it so that it stays shut like this because I don't necessarily have to have it open like that. So I'll probably just glue it shut and then that way I can use both of the drawers like normal. All right, and lastly, we have the portable power bank, which is 3,350 milliamp per hour, which is about the equivalent to any of your uh, cell phones these days. So this can probably power your cell phone once before it dies and you have to recharge it. This I decided to keep in the box because it's gorgeous. However, I will take it out when I want to use it, but it is a lithium ion battery and it looks like so. It looks just like the moon stick and I think that's so cool. Now the interesting thing about this moon stick battery is that uh, the lights on it light up. So it has three different indication LED lights to let you know the power capacity and the star button on the back on the front of it checks the power capacity. Uh, if you press and hold the star button for five seconds to turn on or off the LED torch. So it has an LED torch, which is awesome. And yeah, it accepts five volts, two amps max. So it's not gonna do quick charge or anything like that that you'll find on like Sony phones, but it is also a nice little portable charger. So this is a legitimate item. I have seen a ton of bootlegs of this one on eBay. So I'm really glad that I was able to get the legitimate one. And the uh, person that sold this to me, actually they came to the US and then shipped it to me because they couldn't ship it overseas because it's a lithium powered battery. So that is all of my items from Hong Kong. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did unboxing these. I'm super excited to use all these because many of these items are actually things that I can take out with me day to day. Let me know what products you enjoyed the most out of today and if there's anything specific that you would like me to review definitely let me know in the comments below. I have a lot of videos coming up for you so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Johnny.